your right hands. Swearing to tell the truth about Benghazi, an event mired in conspiracy theories and political mudslinging. Ambassador Christopher Stevens and three other Americans were killed in the attack on the compound last year. Now the first public account by a U.S. official who was in Libya at the time. I received a call from the Prime Minister of Libya. I think it's the saddest phone call I've ever had in my life. He told me that Ambassador Stevens had passed away. In the immediate aftermath of the attack, the Obama administration gave conflicting accounts of what happened. Officials eventually acknowledged it was a planned assault. But the UN ambassador, Susan Rice, initially said it erupted spontaneously, the result of a protest over an anti-Islamic video. I was stunned. My jaw dropped. And I was embarrassed. Republicans have accused the Obama administration of failing to protect the Benghazi compound and then trying to cover up a terrorist attack in the run-up to the presidential election. The testimony of Greg Hicks has done nothing to lay that theory to rest, but Democrats maintain that the confusion was the result of incomplete information and that there was no attempt to mislead the public. Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Washington.